Hey guys, today we want to do a question using quadratic equation. So, the question is the group of choir members decided to raise 3600 to buy a guitar, guitar the one to play music. Eh? Each member was to contribute equal amount. In the preparation process, five members transferred to another chance. That meant that the main contributors had to pay more to achieve the target. So, let us the question is show that in show that increase in contribution per member was eighteen thousand shillings divided by n and n minus five. So what we do here, the first if this is the question paper, then a good student, which you know we are, is a we are supposed to divide that booklet either into two or three, depending on the question, how you understand the question. So in this case, it is four marks, so the four marks are divided for that format. So and then, I will say that original, if the original, they have said that show that increase if n is the initial number of members. So initial, initial number of members, equals to n means that the initial contribution per person initial contribution individual is equivalent to is equivalent to 3600 divided by divided by n which is the total number so that is the initial contribution to each that and there what we are trying to say n can be even party and can be even any value if you are not given the value you are supposed to just put in, just put any value choose any value that is the initial contribution for that the new contribution after new members left eh? So new after some people left, so we say new number, new number of members, members is equals to n minus five. They were forty and then five left, so it means the remaining there is forty minus five, which is n minus that value. N is just any value we calculated later on, I think. So new contribution per person. New contribution per person. New contribution after five people left per person or each. Yeah. So new contribution will be equivalent to the amount that they were supposed to raise, but now this amount will be divided by the remaining members. So the remaining numbers we said n minus five. So new number or the remaining, we can talk of the remaining numbers, remaining numbers. Remaining stuff you know, depends the way you understand it. Divide it the way that is right by the question. So we say that 600 divided by n. Then we want to get the increase. Like if last year you were weighing 60 kg, this year you're weighing 80 kg, the difference increase will be 80, the, the new one minus the original. So that means that we try to use pen now. 3600, the new value n minus 5. n minus 5 minus 3600, the original amount, original contribution per person, divided by n. Yeah? So this one here, we are supposed to get the increase. So this is 5. 
So this is pen. So LCM here will be N into N minus five. So this one goes here. If you divide the if you divide this by this, you will get N. So up there we have thirty six hundred minus n goes here n minus 5 so that will have 3600 into n minus 5 into bracket so if you work out this we have go back to my before you to my screen because that's not my line uh, so if I work out that, I will have, I will have, I will have 3600, but we add N here. Remember, we are multiplying this by N, this N here that I didn't put, this N here. Uh, 3600 N minus thirty six hundred times N plus eighteen thousand plus comes because when we have when we have minus here and minus inside it changes to positive meaning that uh, that sign will change to positive minus and minus becomes positive down you just retain the LCM n into n minus 5 close the bracket yeah. so this meaning that uh, this one here this and this, if you subtract, you get zero. So up there, we we'll just remain with 1800 and down 18,000 and down we have n minus 5. So that is the question they, were, they ask us to show. So down we we'll have n into n minus 5 so that is the solution that question there so look at the step we said we started by saying the initial number is n the new number is n minus 5 then the new contribution the original contribution so we subtract this new contribution of per person minus the initial contribution per person when we have n minus 5, here we have n. The LCM just multiply. Then we ask ourselves 36, uh, n minus 5 goes into n to n minus 5. How many times n minus 5 will cancel with n minus 5? So the remaining is n. So n times 3600, we get 3600 n minus. n goes into n minus 5 into 3600 into n minus 5. Then we work out that you get that. Get your four marks here. The next question. If the increase, uh, huh, if the increase in contribution per member was 24, what was the original contribution? So we equate this into 24. Mm -hmm. so the space, that space is small, so let me put it as another space. Mm. Math is very easy, just need to. I just need to operate to get your two marks. Yeah, so the next, if the increase in contribution per member was that, what was the original contribution? So, the original contribution here. We say the increase, we equate the increase. So we've said that we have been told 
that we have 1800, that 1800, 18,000, sorry, over n into n minus 5. 5. Yes. This one here is supposed to be equivalent to 24. That is what we do there. We need to do a line. We need to be someone who is organized. You must be organized. So from here, what we do is very simple. We do what we refer to as cross multiplication because our number is always out of one. So we are cross multiplying. So if we cross multiply, the resulting solution that our question would be 24. I am multiplying 24 times n into n minus 5 is equivalent to 18 thousand times one is still that so we talk of 24 n squared that would be 24 n squared n squared later on minus 24 multiplied by 5 that is 120 is equals to it is 120 n is equivalent to 18,000. Yes, so 24 n squared, 24 n squared. That is n here times n, you get 24 n squared. So, because I like working with the simpler, uh, the simplified values, I divide both sides by 24. I divide both sides by 24. Everything here by 24. Meaning that if you simplify that and that, you get the resulting solution to this our case will have uh, will have n squared. That is, that is what is remaining there minus 120. Divide by 24 is going to be 5. That is 5. That is 5. N is equals to 180. Sorry, 18,000 divided by 24. Okay. This is 7. 50. Seven fifty. Therefore, n squared minus five n is equal to seven fifty, meaning that if I take this seven fifty on this side, it will be n squared minus five n minus seven fifty. If seven fifty crosses equal sign, what would remain the other end is zero. Zero. So we are looking for two numbers whose sum is negative five. Sum is negative five. According to quadratic equation properties, negative five and product is negative. Product is negative seven fifty. Two numbers that if you multiply, you get seven negative seven fifty, and if you add those two numbers, you get negative five. Five times twenty-five is doing it there. But if now, if both of the numbers are negative, sum is negative, product is negative, then you may get a bigger value. So I have thirty. The number there is thirty. Negative thirty and twenty-five. These are the values. So these values here you substitute where there is five. You don't write five there. So we say n squared minus thirty minus thirty n plus twenty five n minus seven fifty. Is 
equals to zero. So we substitute for the five here, I don't want that five. So what I do here, this five here, 30 plus six, minus 30 plus 25, I'm supposed to get minus five back. Then from here, we do what is called factorizing. Factorizing means you remove the common term outside, like I compare from here 30, yeah, I compare 30, and then so the common factor that is here between n squared and 30, so that is n, n, n outside. Therefore, n minus 30 plus the common factor, the number that can go into 25 is same time 750. 25, that is just 25. 25 goes into 25, one times, one times n is just n minus 750 divided by 25 becomes uh, what? 30 is equals to zero. So when you have a pair of fraction, a pair of expression that is similar to this way, just pick one. So you say n plus 25 into n minus 30 is equals to 0. Therefore, n, you can say this is equals to 0 or this is equals to 0. n here is equals to minus 25. Again, we say n here is equals to 30. But you see, the number of human beings cannot be negative. So you ignore a negative value, you ignore. Therefore, what was the question? What was the original contribution before? Other members left. The question is contribution, not original number. So before they left, we add the total amount of money to be contributed was 3,600, but we had how many members? 30. So the original contribution is 30 divided by that. Uh, one, two. So that is Kenyan shillings, 120. 120 Kenyan shillings, and that is the solution to that question. Calculate the percentage increase in contribution before others left. Yeah? If the increase was 24 and the original was this, I just take 24 here. Divide by 120. Times 100. Zero cancel zero. I know it was there twice. So the percentage increase was 20 because the question is percentage. You have to give the answer in terms of percentage. And that is the solution 20%. 10 marks for free. Thank you guys. For more, just holler me.